on guys it's david welcome back to the channel as always remember to like share subscribe hit the notification bell i really appreciate it as always i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research always do your own research but i appreciate you guys tuning in also if you're looking for you know just to try to get started investing i have some investing links to some different platforms in the description box so you can check those out when you get a chance uh, but hey, this video, my weekly update, not going to be long with you guys, but this is my weekly update of my ETF portfolio that we started back in April. And the purpose of this portfolio is to show you how easy investing can be. You don't have to do any stocks. These are straight ETFs. Now, the only uh, the main rule I had for this ETF portfolio was that I could not own these ETFs in any of my other portfolios. So you don't see the v, v -O, the VOO, you don't see the VTI, you don't see the SCHD, you know, some of the normal uh, ETFs that you may see, you know, floating around. So because I probably already have those in other portfolios as some of the base of the foundations of that portfolio. So. Without further ado, let's jump right into our update for the week and let's see where we stand. So let's see here. I'm going to jump in. And here we are. So, oh, hold on. Yep, here we are. So, as you see, we want to just start with um, XLK. We have 0.345 shares. Last price was $230.81. Current value is $79.62. We are up 13.12% with a cost base total of $70.39. VYM, we have 0.426 shares. Last price is $130.11. The our current value is $55.42. Total gain, we are up 9.64% with a cost base total of $50.55. VUG, we have 0.12 shares. Last price is $388.79. Current value is $46.65. We are up 9.28%. The cost base total of $42.69. D Grow, we have 1.234 shares. Last price is $63.28. Our current value is $78.08. We are up 7.75% with a cost base total of $72.47. SOXX, we have 0.366 shares. Last price, $235.46. Current value, $86.17. We are up 7.14% with a cost base total of $80.43. Next up, SPYG, we have 0.625 shares. Last price, $83.90. Current value is $52.43. We are up 5.27% with a cost base total of $49.81. SPYI, we have 2.411 shares. Last price, $51.63. We have a current value of $124.47. We are up 3.72% with a cost base total of $120.01. The newest addition, which we added, I think, last week or two weeks ago, um, I talked about it last week, is GPIQ. We have 0.212 shares. Last price, $47.94. Current value is $10.16. We were up 0.72%. Cost base total of $10.09. And last but not least, BITO. We have 3.512 shares. Last price, $17.98. Our current value is $63.14. We are down 10.31% with a cost base total of $70.40. $70 so our current value is $616.79. Uh, we have our weekly transfer uh, because this is week 20 of us of the challenge. So we're um, investing $20 into the portfolio this week. Um, we are up total of 5.17%, which is up from our previous video last week of 3.90%. So we had a great week in the portfolio. We're, we're currently up 5.17%. So 
So remember, we just started this portfolio back in April. And like I said, it's a long-term portfolio. I don't see myself adding anything else to this portfolio unless we take something out. So the current goal now is to continue to build up the portfolio. We can do a career value of $66,000. Yeah, we can you know, challenge you and add to the portfolio to a different position every week. You know, the goal is to get to at least a thousand dollars as far as the value of the portfolio. That's the short term goal. Right. So to me, you know, that's, you know, from there, you kind of let the percentages start doing the work for you. But until then, you know, I want to build it up to at least get a, a portfolio of at least a thousand dollars value. And, you know, that's kind of like my personal goal, because, you know, when most people start their portfolio, they may buy a stock, they may buy two stocks or ETF, and they just let it sit. They don't do anything. They don't have a plan to grow it. They don't have a plan to you know build it over time to invest consistently, which I think are key components to having a successful portfolio. Not only do you need to start a portfolio, but you need to have a plan to grow the portfolio. So once you you know invest into the right stocks or the right ETFs. Then after that, you know, what's your plan to allow this portfolio to keep growing? So for me, you know, get to a thousand. I probably won't stop there. I need probably fifteen hundred, two thousand value. You know, then you start seeing dividends come into play, uh, and, and you know the percentages. If you have it, if you know the ETF do what they're supposed to do, you know the, the returns will start taking care of itself. And you know that's the goal for this portfolio. Um, so far, I'm I'm super excited. I'm super impressed by this portfolio, and um, it's it's doing extremely well. You know, you see some positions outperforming others, and you know that's how it goes. So uh, we do have twenty dollars coming into the portfolio this week. So that's either going to be invested probably into the one of the bottom three, right? Either SPY, GPIQ, or BITO. Uh, so I'm deciding uh, which uh position i want to invest in this week uh, remember spyi and bito are monthly paying dividend positions i believe the rest pay quarterly so uh, but yeah that's it you know just you know leave me some feedback what you guys think about this portfolio you know all etfs do you have you know some of you guys only invest in etfs you don't believe in investing in stocks uh me personally you know i'm a fan of both i'm a fan of both etfs and stocks you know, I may have, uh, I used to starting off only doing stocks. And then I, you know, as I learned the ETFs and got more in tune on, you know, how it works and the importance of having ETFs in your portfolios, that's, that's what I've been doing. I've been slowly but surely uh, incorporating my portfolios with ETFs, you know, mostly as a foundation for the portfolio. And if I'm starting a new uh, portfolio, you know, ETFs are going to be probably 40 to 50 percent of the portfolio. So that's just me. You guys can do what you want, but that's just my um, my take on it. So, but hey, I appreciate it. if you guys leave some feedback. Let me know what you think about the portfolio. Uh, do you have any of these ETFs uh, in your portfolio? Have you researched any of these ETFs? You know, you can always uh, have Yahoo Finance or, you know, use Yahoo Finance if you want to uh, research any of these particular uh, symbols to, you know, get a little more detail of how, you know, how they operate and what's their performance, you know, how their performance has been over time. But um, yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I appreciate you guys as always for, you know, tuning in, checking out the, the video. Uh, remember, I'm not a financial advisor always do your own research always do your own research and if you don't do anything else always remember to invest in yourself always invest in yourself find a way to find those dollars to invest in yourself every time you see me do a video every time i talk about these you know stocks or etfs or portfolios that is my way dividends that's my way of investing back into myself so but that's all for today guys i will talk to you later